Hello, hello. Welcome to the LA. LA TV with love. If today is your first time, you are the right place. But don't forget to click the subscribe button so that anytime we upload content on this channel, you will be notified. Now in this video, we are going to react to a message that was preached by Bishop Jim Sa of Action Chapel International. In fact, the message have a lot of things to teach us. If you are someone who wants to enter into the ministry, preach the gospel as a minister of God, this is very, very important. Let's get into the video. The first problem we have that has come into our generation is that today, men of God see ministry as big business, not just the work of God. I went to preach in a church, big church. There was a prophet there. He, he, he was the leader. And before we preach, usually, I said, are there issues to deal with? Then he said, I should come to the office. He wants to talk to me. Then he called and said, Bishop, collect money and make history today. Let it be written in the advisory books. He said, I will do you good. I was just watching him. Insulting the church members to me. Said they are big head. They are sitting down. They will give. This is serious. To their money, they will give today. Take their money. Because I lost of my money. I just felt like saying what for interest. Because I was paralyzed. It was an ill advice. Ethically and morally wrong. It was a holiness problem. Insulting the flock that feed him. Insulting the people in the church who were doing praise and worship. They didn't know their pastor was sacrificing them. Crucifying them to me. The issues are many. There was a case I read on social media in a country somewhere. This prophet, instead of just preaching the word, believing God, studying and preaching, and saying what God had told him, and staying off what he hasn't seen, went on social media. The page of the church he was going to preach in, and looked at the choir and everything, and he saw a particular lady with a name. And he memorized it, numbers, everything. And then he went to church. He said, today, this place will shake. If heaven doesn't come down, then he's not a man of God. He didn't know he was walking on thin ice. God showed him. That this so-so and so person in the choir, God is going to bless her. The whole church was quiet. He didn't understand why the people were not responding. This person, he is talking about her died three months ago. The whole church has been taken three months back. And he was just going on, giving description. He can see the person, the person should come out. What should come out? A ghost? The pastor had to quickly address the issue. He stood up and went to the man and told him, that person you are talking about has died. We buried her. The people are quiet because they, we are still in a state of mourning. Now the question is, should they continue the service or they should close it? Because the atmosphere has been polluted. What stops you from just preaching and going home? You didn't see it. You can't force God's hand. It's a Gehazi problem. You begin to see ministry as a lucrative business. If you do the right thing, God will take care of you. There are many people in ministry who shouldn't be in. There are many people. It's their mother who called them to ministry. And when problem come, your mother will deliver you. The day Satan come to town, look for your mother. Because Satan will come like a policeman in Ghana. Let me see your papers. And that day will know whether God called you. Ministry is not straightforward like that. Gehazi said, I will run after him. And the master said, today, it's not every offering you should collect. This Gehazi is going to collect bribe and he's using God's name. Okay, don't mind the sound, okay?
But if you had watched the video and have listened carefully, there are some few lessons that we learn from the preaching of this our beloved Bishop James Sir. The first one I have to do with the fact that ministry is not a business. Ministry is a call God gives to people. God calls us into ministry. And the purpose of ministry is to edify the body of Christ. Ministry is service to God and service to man. We don't need to carry the mentality of ministry being a business venture. No. That is the first aspect. And so the church of God is not a business venture. So when ministry becomes a business venture, the glory of God easily will leave. Yes, and the presence and the beauty, the power of God can stay. The other aspect is this. You see, the man of God who, who when invited, decided to go on Facebook looking for people to go and prophesy about at the program. No, that is not it. What God has called you into, what God has called you into should be your focus. If God hasn't given you a word of prophecy to deliver, you don't force it. Because he was living the life and doing what God has not given to him, has not given to him, it resulted into shame. And so as we want to serve God, we go by the directive, the commands of God, not doing what we want or doing what to please man, but we do what will please God, yes. Speak the word God has given you and not what he hasn't. Whatever lesson you derive from watching this video, I pray it sticks with you. It stay with you. But keep this in your mind. You speak what God has given to you and not what people want you to speak. If today is your first time of visiting this channel, wherever you are under the sun, I want you to click the subscribe button and you will never regret it. Stay blessed and God richly bless you.